Map voting or map rotation? That's what I'm trying to ask you guys here for your opinions in this video because Halo 5 is going to be the first online Halo that will not feature a map voting system. Right here on Twitter, Josh Holmes says, gets asked a question saying, is there going to be v vote or veto or something similar to Halo 2 in hashtag Halo 5 Guardians? Josh Holmes replies back saying, no voting or veto, just straight rotation. Now, to me, initially, I'm like, man, that kind of sucks because personally, you know, there's a reason why certain maps get voted over and over again because those are the good maps. But generally, what I find a lot of times when it comes to the general public and FPS games that they don't, generally don't necessarily vote for the best map. They vote for the most action-packed map. Think of like if you guys ever played Call of Duty or Black Ops, you can you know for a fact that every single time Nuketown is available to be voted, everyone votes that map hands down every single time. Me personally, I freaking hate Nuketown. I think it's one of the worst Call of Duty maps of all time because it's so chaotic and there's no strategy to be able to be implanted implemented at all. It's just chaos. And so I just find it it's very annoying when you have maps that pop up. You're like, we're, screw it, we're going to have to end up playing this map anyways. Now, what they're doing in Halo 5 is just going to be a straight map rotation, which is something I'm also used to as well as being a person who really enjoys Battlefield, the Battlefield series. Uh, a lot of times, servers don't have the option to vote for whatever map. I know on console, I, you, you just straight up can't do that, but I play on PC when it comes to Battlefield. Sometimes, you know, server admins, they add in a voting system, but for the majority of the time, it's really just going to be a straight rotation of certain maps. And so, this really puts a big uh, stress on just the map design in Halo 5. Because uh, you, you can't just have... They gotta make sure that the, all the maps in Halo 5 are gonna be high quality maps. Uh, I think we're getting like tw 20 some odd maps on, on launch. That's gonna be a crap ton of maps to try out. And I could totally understand um, wanting to do the rotation system just because they want players to play all the maps that these devs have spent so many countless hours into developing, making, and refining, and you know, t fine tuning to get them to play just right. Uh, me personally, I'm all for map rotation because once you get playing the same maps over and over and over again, the game becomes very stale. Uh, think of like if any guys have been still playing the Master Chief Collection, you all know that the map rotation in MCC is absolutely awful. Uh, you know, you you can play a Team Slayer match, but there's only like 45 maps available, which you think sounds a lot. But when the rotation actually comes around, you actually have to start, people vote for whatever maps you end up having to play. People just play, vote for the same maps over and over and over again. And so it gets really repetitive and boring. That's why I personally actually am excited to see that Halo 5 has a rotation system. But this, again, like I said earlier, it just puts a big emphasis on making sure that all your maps play well. Because if you have... You know, some good maps, mostly bad maps or something like that. Like in Halo 4, where I found that a lot of the maps in that game were pretty awful. They just didn't fit for Halo. They were just very awkwardly uh, stretched out in some angles and stuff like that. It just didn't really work. Then I'd be concerned with the rotation st style of Halo 5. Or if any of you guys remember in Halo Reach, the map Sword Base, which is probably my most hated map of all time in Halo... Every time that map was available to get voted, people would vote for it because they like how it's just kind of campy and they can just get cheap and easy kills. So I just would really like to avoid having that kind of situation happen again. Of course then, when you involve just straight rotation and people come against maps that they don't like to play, a lot of times you can come across people who just quit out of the match. This will definitely be an issue when it comes to the unranked playlist. Though I think in Arena, most people are going to be sticking in it just because they don't want to lose the rank because uh, I think, was it leaving a match or game, or just connecting is like three times the amount of normal loss is. So there's going to be some certain, hopefully there's some penalty to that as well because that's the main reason why uh, Bungie initially brought in the voting system is because they didn't want people going, oh, I hate this map, let's just leave it. This is going to be a waste of time kind of thing. But yeah, if all the maps play like they do in the beta here, we're see we're here, we're playing on Empire, or they play like Truth, um, then I'm all for it because they're, you know, medium to small maps, it's fast-paced action, and it's just a lot of fun. And so, 
That's why I want to ask you guys in this video is what do you think about having the map rotation versus veto voting system for Halo 5? You know, this definitely is something that could be changed later on if the community really wants to have a voting or slash veto system. It's definitely something I think that can be patched in quite easily. But um, at first, they're going to start with the rotation system, which we'll see how it turns out. We haven't seen all the maps that are coming out for Halo 5. Uh, plus, we'll see what happens when all the DLC gets released until like, you know, June. I think they're saying that they're going to be supporting Halo 5 with new DLC. And so... There's going to be a ton of maps for Halo 5. And, you know, you don't want to be stuck playing the same five popular maps over and over and over again, right? You want to get a chance to experience all that the game has to offer. I'm all for it. Let's see what happens. Uh, leave a comment down below, guys, what you personally think about having rotation versus veto system. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment what you think about the topic, guys. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.